you're a brand new player to Hearthstone or you've been playing Hearthstone for an extremely long period of time, quite often a thought will pop into your head. What is the best deck that I can play right now to climb? Now, the best deck can change depending on what the metagame is, what expansion just released, etc., etc. But one thing is almost guaranteed the place to get the best decks are almost going to be the exact same every single time. I will also be showing you where to find some off meta decks in case you're interested in that. But without further ado, let's get you to legend so the first site that we're going to go to is hs replay and this is usually the premier place to find decks quickly and get a little bit more info on them at a glance this site offers you a complete meta snapshot as well as individual decks that seem to be performing well and you can also look at individual cards and see which cards are performing in a deck and which ones are not some of the features on hs replay will require you to have a premium membership but the premium membership if you want to get it will be extremely helpful especially if you're looking to improve your game at Hearthstone. This site is absolutely fantastic for newer players who are in the ranks from bronze through gold because every single feature on this site is free for those ranks. Now I recommend going to the meta tab and looking at the tier list and also looking at the by class tab as well to give a good indication of what archetypes are actually good for each individual class. There's also the trending page which gives you a pretty good idea of what decks are being pretty popular right now over the last 48 hours. HS Replay also has a really Really good battleground section if you're interested in playing bgs but overall hs replay is a fantastic place to start to finding a fantastic deck for you to climb to legend just i love hs replay there's another fantastic site known as vicious syndicate which basically curates for you deck lists that they think are the best decks in the game based on data that they have every single week vicious syndicate will do a data reaper report which not only shows you deck lists but gives you the class slash archetype distribution the class frequency, matchup win rates, their power rankings, also known as a tier list, class analysis, and the deck list and how you're supposed to use them, and their meta breaker of the week. The best part about Vicious Syndicate is that they make the deck list for you and they're using people who understand the game as well as insane amount of data to curate the best list possible in the current meta game. I also haven't even mentioned the best part yet. This is entirely free. The whole Data Reaper report is completely free and they only earn a revenue based on ads for this unless you want to support them further with their gold subscription. One of the nicest things about Vicious Syndicate is the data is so nicely presented to you that you can understand even if you don't understand and what the data is telling you. It's very easy to look at and it's very nice to understand where the data is coming from and how they're making their decks and why they make their decks. This is a great resource that you should use. Next to the list is two great sites that get streamer decks and curate them for you to see in a very nice fashion. One of these is hearthstone-decks.net and the other one is hearthstone top decks. Hearthstone top decks is great because they post your favorite streamers list right on the front page, but this is mainly for standard. Hearthstone-decks.net will actually go through every single game mode, including standard wild classic duels and mercenaries to make sure that you're covered on all bases in case you wanted a deck list for one of those game modes hearthstone top decks also has the other game modes as well but they mainly focus on standard the one benefit of hearthstone top decks is their articles their articles are fantastic for you to have general knowledge about the game and they also do it on every single game mode in case you are curious one of the best sites to get hearthstone deck lists from your favorite high legend streamers is donkey.top the reason for this is because these deck lists are automatically updated after every single game a streamer plays and you get a wide variety of deck lists because often streamers will be playing with different strategies or not optimized decks so you can see what things people are trying and potentially what is going to be the next meta breaker another great thing about this site is that you can get a lot of competitive deck lists from tournaments or hearthstone grandmasters or even hearthstone world championship this makes it extremely easy to look at what the deck lists are for that competitive tournament see what people are playing and what you can use Another great site to find competitive deck lists as well as high legend streamer list is beerbrick.com. Even though it is a different language in English, you can still decipher what kind of deck it is just by looking at the cards. And more importantly, this is a really good resource to look at almost every single day because you'll find some very interesting lists that you may not see anywhere else. Now, if you want deck lists straight from the actual high legend players or competitive players, Twitter is probably the best place to go because, you know, obviously they probably just upload their list to Twitter. And a lot of the people who post their list on Twitter are streamers. So you could go look at their twitch.tv page to either find the deck list or learn how to play the deck list better 
so you can climb to a higher rank YouTube is also another great resource for this you can often just look for a specific deck that you want and you can find a video on it and learn how a high legend player plays it now the best part about YouTube is that there is a wide variety of content on there there's the off meta deck list there are the standard deck list there's just straight up guides and depending on what you're into you can find literally anything for hearthstone decks now let's say you don't want to play a competitive deck and you're more into being a little bit picante well there's a bunch of resources for you to play off meta decks now off meta decks doesn't mean that they'll be bad decks they're just not you know consistent meta decks that you'll see on ladder every single day but there is a bunch of resources to help you find deck lists like this two of the best sites that i know of are hearthpone and out of cards both of these allow people to upload their decks with stats and potentially a youtube video or their twitch stream to furthermore prove their stats on this deck list the one issue with these sites though is that you're gonna have to be a little bit more diligent and understand what you're looking for if you're looking for a competitive off meta deck you might have to look a little bit harder but if you're looking for a little bit more of a meme fun deck then this is a great resource to do pick a random deck and play it both of these sites also offer a lot of community showcases a lot of different articles and cover basically every single game mode even the solo adventures so the nice thing about these sites is that they are updated every single day whether it's just with the community post or their uploaded deck list or whatever it may happen to be so at the time you're watching this in fractured and octorok valley or you're finally watching this video when they release the rubber ducky revenge return of reno jackson there will be updated deck lists for you every single day now there's probably a bunch of sites that i did not showcase in this video and if you have another site that you think is an absolute fantastic resource make sure you write it down in the comments so other people can find it as well i just want to give a fair warning in this video as well if you made it this far you deserve this little bit of a tip a lot of the deck lists you will see on either hearthpone or on twitter or whatever site you may happen to be that is curated from community posts from high legend streamers will often say rank one legend or 100 win rates but it's important to look at the sample size of how many games this deck was played with this is important because sometimes people will play on rank two win one game hit rank one legend and then write rank one legend deck list they only played one game which you know theoretically means they had a hundred percent win rate which means it's the best deck in the game baby but in actuality over a larger sample size this will actually probably not be the case so it's a little bit cautious to look at how many games they played and how much they're claiming this deck is fantastic because quite literally it may not be the case for you also it's important to note that your experience is your own experience some decks may be really really good in some hands and other decks might be bad in other hands it's just the way that you play the game and quite literally the skill level of a player does end up mattering as well I also just want to mention in this video that just because you get a good deck list doesn't mean it guarantees you to get to legend or climb at all it's still hearthstone and it still requires you to play at a pretty great level in order for you to actually climb but this is a great place to start if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more things like it make sure you subscribe and hit the like button it would help me out a ton and as always you look fantastic i'll see you in the next one